And Bert, how do you how do you correctly say your last name? Reutemann. 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 Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's see. I can, I'm already screwing up the interview. I can't even say the name. Um, Bern, give us a, a sense of of what is going on in in Germany. I guess the the like for like comparison. Uh, the Bundesliga is like our NFL here in the United States. So that is that is back training. What, what's going on? What's the hope there in Germany? Yeah, the Bundesliga stopped playing in, uh, in March and they still had nine game days to go. So they are looking for a solution right now to start playing again, even without fans, just to, to get the season going again. Uh, they started to train in small groups, only two or three players on the pitch at the same time. And they don't go to the locker room, they have to shower at their home. So. They basically uh, they they basically uh, get out of their cars in in train jersey, get on the pitch, train a bit, and drive home. And of course, uh, the German league is is trying to find a solution, trying to find an idea how to play these uh, nine missing game days this year. Well, now over here we're talking about options like playing all games in one location. Uh, what? Possibilities have, have you heard with Bundesliga? Would, would they only pick out a few stadiums, or, or what? What are they talking about? This would be possible. They are trying to pick a stadium and do three games uh, uh, to do uh, three games in a row. This this would be possible. They calculated that around uh, 250 people would be involved, like the players, the staff, camera operators, and so on. And um, they are working on a plan to test all players uh, every three days right now, just to prevent there's a player that got ill. Uh, but there has not been a final idea yet. Uh, yesterday, the German uh, government presented a plan to forbid big events until the 31st of August. This uh, means for the Bundesliga there won't be any games with fans until September. And I'm quite sure they are trying to get some ghost games. That's uh, how we call it in Germany. Uh, games without uh, spectators. But uh, it, it's very uh, difficult to, to get a solution. Because uh, on the one hand, um, Everyone wants to have some kind of uh, distraction in uh, these terrible times. On the other hand, testing uh, capacities are not limitless. And if you try to test Bundesliga players every three days, of course, there are doctors and hospital, uh, hospital nurses that have to wait for their test results then. So that's a, a difficult uh, question they're dealing with. What they're back training? Have you read anything about what some of the players are are saying, or what has been the reaction? Are they glad to be back training? Or are they nervous? Uh, what's what's been the, the take on the fact they're back training at least now? Mm, I'm I'm quite sure they are uh, happy to train again. Although it's it's a very a weird situation for them as well because um, in the last weeks they had to do home training with apps with uh, videos they were using zoom as well to to train in groups but this was our, our only uh, athletic um athletic things they they could do and uh, right now they can at least have uh, the ball on their feet and uh, do something but um I'm quite sure they are not uh, happy with the uh, situation because uh, right now would be the most important uh, phase of the season when uh, it's, it's getting tough for the championship. And now they're kind of waiting uh, for a decision of the league. And what, what's the, I mean, we don't know when they would play. They're back training. They're hoping for June or what's their hope to play games? Right now, they are planning uh, for mid of May, for mid of May, but they haven't had a um, decision yet uh, that has been uh, yeah, presented. So um, they are hoping uh, to get these games done just to 
yeah, uh, get the, the money from the rights holders, the TV right holders, because some uh, clubs are really in uh, in a in a problematic situation um, money wise because uh, of course they planned with the broadcasting revenue and uh, they have uh, their expenses right now and they won't survive without these games so uh, the league league is planning for that but uh, right now we are just uh, focusing on uh, the bundesliga on soccer uh, we have ice, uh, ice hockey league as well, the handball league as well, the basketball league as well. And all these leagues, they mainly rely on their fans and the sold tickets. And if they can't start uh, uh, with fans, they have to really uh, yeah, uh, end the season right now. And they, the, these leagues won't survive without uh, the fans. So there's going to be a dramatic change in prof uh, professional sports uh, if there won't be uh, games with fans. Good stuff. All right. Your English is